What's up everyone? My name is Irina if you're new here and today we are going over my 10 tips and tricks for the best thrift shop visit of your life. What's up guys? <laughs> course um, I had to wear a little baby tee that I just picked up the other day for a dollar fifty is a little tight in the arms absolutely am I gonna stretch her out absolutely and also like and subscribe it would really mean a lot especially if you want to see my future thrift hauls and as always bloopers will be at the end because I can never be serious and I can never just say the words I want to say so stick around for those. <laughs> All right, my absolute first tip, I think that this is one of the most important ones ever, go when you have time. I could spend hours and hours and hours thrift shopping. I don't know if it's my curiosity or if it's just the fact that it's such a treasure hunt, but I could spend so long in there. So you also can't go in there essentially for the most part going in being like I want to find a camo baby tee you just have to go in there and really look rummage through every single section and just hope for the best sometimes it's a hit sometimes it's a miss and that was a bust the second thing is in addition to that one I really like to bring headphones I tend to get distracted with my ADHD and if I have headphones I just put on some music nobody talks to me and I can really just go to town on all the different sections so I find that I am the most productive with my time and I really tend to find the most amazing pieces when I am zoned out like that because I'm not getting as distracted number three is to check every single size if you're a small look in the extra large you know, if you're an extra large, look in the small. I cannot tell you how many times I have found pieces that fit me in the extra large section. Because I found these top red pants. We're gonna go through the whole pile. Um, I found these in like the large section and older clothes tend to fit smaller. You just don't know what people have done before you got there. And when I say that, I mean, they could have taken something from a whole nother section and put it there because they were sorting through everything. You need to check every single section. And again, that goes back to having time. If you're really looking to find the best gems out of the whole store, you need to have the time to be able to look through all the different sections, all the different sizes. Fourth tip, I live by this one. I've said it before in my videos check the shoes. I feel like there is such a stigma around thrifted shoes because I get it, sometimes shoes like sneakers for example could be molded to fit somebody else's foot and they're not really gonna fit you well or they're gonna give you some foot problem and I don't mean like in a gross way, I mean like flat footed or something. But the amount of times that I have found shoes that have never ever been worn and they're at least worth like 75 to hundred dollars and I pay five to ten dollars. It's always worth a look. Sometimes you're gonna get like the dingy shoes and sometimes you're gonna come to a place where it's all brand new shoes just because somebody ordered it online and then when it got to them, it wasn't what they were expecting or the heel was too high or too short or it didn't fit the outfit that they had in mind. You never know what you're gonna find. So shoes all the way. My mom doesn't call me messy two shoes for nothing. The fifth tip is to always wear tight clothing. Wear a tank top, wear leggings, something that you can just slip clothes on over, especially, or obviously, when fitting rooms are closed, especially with COVID right now. I know most of the thrift stores that I'm going to, they don't have fitting rooms, but they do allow you to just slip things on over what you're wearing, and that's gonna be pretty hard with baggy clothes, and you never wanna buy something and then have it not fit, and then you're bringing it back to the thrift store. So, wear tight clothes and you'll be golden. Number six is to look through the guys section. Oh my gosh, I know, you've heard it before, but seriously, take the time to do it because there's pants, there's jeans, baggy jeans are really in right now, go get some in the guys section. Honestly, I can never find really good baggy jeans in the girls section, girls, women's, female section. 
um, but in the men's section, and honestly, you can always take things in. You can never add fabric, but you can always take things in. But truthfully, I've been really into finding, what is it? Like, not construction jeans, but those jeans that have like the loop for a hammer. Um, and those don't come in women's. So definitely check out the guy section. Sweatpants, hoodies. Honestly, like, they just have a lot of good stuff. Graphic tees, sneakers sneakers i think i'm a size seven in women's i know that for a fact but i think that's like a five in the men's section and sometimes there's some really good sneakers that haven't really been worn so again i really circled that back to shoes but just check the guys section i promise you will not be disappointed and the hat section hat section and guys all the way best trucker hats best sports hats okay i need to get on to the next one number seven is, let's see what I have. I have a whole list on my phone. Number seven is to look for the new racks. I, oh my gosh, the new racks always have the, I'm literally like daydreaming about it right now because the thrift stores that I go to in Michigan, they always have like, you know, it's all organized like a normal thrift store. And then they have the racks on the end of new stuff. And I feel like nobody ever touches them because they feel like they can't. They think that the workers are still sorting them through and they are, but they don't mind if you look through them. So totally take the time to go through those. Those could be new pieces, new with tags, like the new season. It always depends on when people are cleaning out their closets. So just take it into consideration. Go through the new racks, best gems, best gems. Number eight, I'm not gonna hold up eight fingers. Number eight, if you see a rack, yeah, if you see a rack that is so unorganized and has all these random things, that is where you wanna go. I have found that random racks where they're disorganized, that's where people have, you know, there's probably a mirror by it because people tend to go there and they wanna like either try on the clothes, clothing, whether it be like a sweater or a jacket, and that's probably where they were like, eh, not for me, it doesn't fit me. So then they put it back and they don't wanna walk all the way across the store. So normally near the mirrors, there are usually like random things because people decide that they don't want them or it's not in the budget that time or whatever. You want to gravitate towards those random messy racks because that, I'm just telling you guys where all the good things are. I feel like all these tips are gold, but that, I was actually telling my mom the other day, I was like, this, this is it. This is the golden nugget right here. <laughs> All right, number nine is purses. Holy cow, I'm going to insert right here a picture or maybe a video, video picture, you'll get what you get, of the most amazing purse I found. It's honestly not even expensive if you look it up. I think it's by like Johnny and Frankie or Frankie and Johnny or something. And I think it's like $26, $30. I paid $10 at Savers for it. A little expensive for a thrift store if I'm being honest, but it's the most amazing purse. It, you should have seen it by now, but it's a corset and it's this cute little dainty purse. It has blue ribbon. There's like, you know, like the bustier, whatever you want to call it. And then in the back, it's all like the lacy. It is the cutest little purse I've ever found. And I just feel like, especially right now with Y2K being in and the nineties, people thrifted. I mean, people have given away all of their stuff from that era. And now they've got and now they want it back. Um, but that is just the place to be. Again, shoes, purses. If you're looking for that Y2K 90 style, just just go there, honestly. Forget about the clothes. Just, just go to those sections. And number 10, last but not least, make it fun. It can be very stressful. There are a lot of times where I'll be going to a new thrift store and I am insanely overwhelmed. I get do get stressed easily. But I have found that honestly making friends while thrifting, whether it be a shopper or it be one of the employees is so beneficial and it really makes it more enjoyable. Being friends with one of the employees too, they are gonna tell you when the sales are, what the next sticker color is, and they're gonna show you where the new racks are or tell you like, oh, we just got this insane designer item in, you need to go check it out or like whatever it is. Just make it a fun time. And I think on top of that, something that I've started to do recently is challenging myself. So my last video was a $20 thrift challenge. I spent $21, but hey, that's pretty good for me. But making it a challenge, whether it be a price or how many items you're gonna buy that day, 
it's always fun. There's always different ways to spice it up. So definitely, if you're feeling overwhelmed, just come up with a new little fun game, whether it be bringing your friends, bringing a boyfriend, significant other, whatever it is, just make it a fun time. All right, those are my 10 tips and tricks for your best thrift, thrift shop visit ever. Let me know if I forgot anything down in the comments below. Be sure to like and subscribe if you haven't already. It would really mean a lot to me. And I cannot wait to go thrift shopping again and take you all along with me. Bye, everyone. I don't like that. I don't like that. And blah, blah. Stick the girls out. Wait, guys, I kind of like my makeup today.